same as tractors. We went up. We were about nine by eights, but that didn't last. We got to about 2010, and we started to go down a little bit. And, and we all know what's happening here. It's the late model use combines, one, two, three-year-old models. Uh, it's a supply and demand issue. It's become difficult for the dealers to find that second buyer. You know, they're still cranking on the new sales, and that's fantastic, but they're piling up on the used lot. So last summer, uh, you know, number of big auctions of 20, 30, 40, even 50 combines. I was at a Richie Brothers sale outside Chicago, I think it was August 2nd, 50 combines. It was tough timing, because if, if that would have been one week later, after the USDA crop report came out, stuff would have sold higher. And they, you know, they did fine, but when you're selling 50 of something, you know, it's just not going to be as hot. So, on combines, again, a supply issue. If you, if you took the example of a John Deere 9870. Now, I, I mentioned before the number of auctions has fallen by like 60% versus about 5, 10 years ago. Even so, look at that, we had 60, about 67, 68% more John Deere 9870 sold last year at auction. Okay, well that's just dealers with too many of them got to move them. 